Happy Newsday, oil traders. And it was an interesting one. It's August 16th, Wednesday, Newsday, and it's just after markets have closed at 4.04 p.m. Eastern time here on the East Coast in North America. And uh, the reason I'm posting right after uh, trading has ended was because I uh, had uh, my order in right at close, basically with minutes left of trading, I finally got my uh, my buy on the bull position that I wanted, the long. Um, so I had to wait until basically see if that got executed or not um, before I uh, let you guys know what happened on my end. In any case, uh, EIA reported a big draw confirming what API forecasted yesterday, but um, we dropped instead of climbed. Um, initially, of course, the reaction was uh, bullish to the bullish news, shocker there. Uh, we made a move for 48, which you can see right here um, towards the right of my notes um, and the right of your screen here. Um, we missed it by a few cents and then proceeded to drop. We made another push higher uh, into positive territory, uh, trying to make it to 47.90, again rejected, and ultimately that just started the fall uh, to where we ended up. We went as low as 46.69 um, and settled in the uh, basically 46 and three quarters area, which is where I ultimately bought. Um, that wasn't my initial target price. Um, I thought we were going to settle closer to 46 and a half, so I put my long buy bull order, whatever you want to call it, at 46.55. Um, then it started to look a little too greedy. So I moved that up to 46.70 and then ultimately 46.75 was my last change to the order and it got filled with eight minutes left in trading and that was actually the lowest that we got prior to the closing um, on that last final dip. Um, so at least that kind of feel gives me a, gives me a warm and fuzzy. Um, of course tomorrow we could be at 46 even, in which case that won't look so hot. Um, that being said, I have a short position of course from 47.20. Um, I didn't sell that position. Um, as you can see here if I do a refresh on my portfolio page on tradingjournal.ca, um, you can see that that position right now is in the money at 1.34% or $223 or so um, in the money. Um, I try to wait for at least 2%. Um, so, you know, you could take it. It's, it's nice, but it's not that nice. Um, it, it's kind of not, almost not worth the trouble at this point. Um, and the fact that I now have the bull position um, sub this this uh, price point if this is at 72 uh, 46 70 uh, excuse me 46 47 20 um, with the bull position at 46 75 now um, basically I'm covered either way um, if we rock it back up to 48 um, my bull will look my long position will look uh, nice and tasty if we continue dropping I'll be selling this short position so tomorrow should be um, a profit day regardless as long as we move <laughs> So we shall see what we shall see, I guess. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, my plan was to buy long if we did fall below 47, which is exactly what I did. Um, you know, it sounds obvious to do what it is that you plan to do, but it's actually taken me a long time to learn that lesson. Um, and doing these videos and you know publicly stating what it is that I um, expect and what it is that I plan on doing. It's kind of a good way of ensuring that I do what I say I will do. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes early on in my trading um, history where I regretted not doing what I initially sought out to do and um, it's kind of taught me to just stick to it. If there's a price at which it makes sense, then it makes sense, um, you know, for those reasons that originally made sense. Um, and questioning that after the fact based on some more, you know, aggressive movements, it's, it'll get you into trouble. Um, so yes, this looks bearish and tomorrow we could be at 46 or 45 or 44, I mean, who knows. Um, but I see this um, 4675 position as potentially a long-term hold. And I know in my gut that we will be above this level at some point, if not tomorrow, then maybe next month, at which point it will be a nice profit. So I'm prepared to wait. And that's the way in which I approach all my purchase decisions. You know, if I'm prepared to hold it as I am with my 52 long, by the way, um, which if we look at my portfolio, 
That one is almost 120 days old right now, and that really sucks. Um, but ultimately, I think we're going to be in the 50s again. It might not be this year. Um, who knows? Um, but I mean, it's just a small percentage of my portfolio, so it's not a big deal. Um, just wait it out. And that's the advantage of going in um, with these kind of piecemeal um, approach. You give yourself options, and options are what make it fun too. Um, they allow they allow me to sleep at night. <laughs> In any case, um, let me know what you guys uh, did today and what your expectations are for the week remaining. You can hit me up down below on YouTube in the comments or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading uh, tomorrow um, at 9.30 or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern here on the East Coast of North America. Till then, good luck. Cheers.